Greetings everybody, I'm Ob. Welcome to my hut. So, it didn't really occur to me, I don't know really why I was avoiding doing this. So we got still lava, we have obsidian. Yeah, I was watching the other episode back, I'm like, wait. Yeah, this is how you do it. So, yeah, not uh, entirely certain. Or this, give me my pick back. Isn't... There we go. So now it has the appropriate tool to break the obsidian. Isn't that how this is supposed to be going? It has obsidian. Oh, criminy. I th thought I'd solved it. Thought I'd solved it. But yeah, I'll just do this real quick. Done. Needs to be crying obsidian. Any form of crying obsidian. Okay. So it's not just... St okay, fine. Then we will continue. And in that case, give me... Give me my pick back then, dang it. It's going to be a turd about it. There. Not how that's supposed to go, but at least I have the good pick back. Alright. So, I kind of misunderstood the aiming of the mana spreaders. They're all going into here, even though I'm pretty sure they're all aimed or were at one point. Aimed at that thing instead. So... And a tablet. Requires a mana diamond. Alright. Or mana pearl. Well, diamonds are easier than pearls for me at the moment. So let's go make a mana tablet, clean that up, and then sort of rearrange that. So I want this to be. And then. I need that. Put the mana diamond in the center. So I want that to be spreading out between the mana pools. That's okay. And then just dump that in there. No. All right. Living wood log, blocks of charcoal. We will at least keep the mana spreaders going, and I want to continue making progress through Tanya. Mana steel is really what I'm after at this moment. It's iron in the crafting pool. Okay. So, and mana steel is one word, not two. Mana steel mesh is what we're after. Which is blocks of mana steel followed by sticks. Okay, so I'm going to want eight mana steel. That's iron iron. Is that all the iron I have at the moment? No. Good. Okay. 
How much does that leave me with? Still less than half. So I need to check the Lexca Batania and see how do I charge a mana tablet? I've seen Direwolf do something to change the mode on the tablet and I'm not sure what that is. So yeah. All right, one second. All righty. Got my eight mesh. Wait, give me the mesh, dang it. Okay, we got the mesh that we're after. Still want to continue through the Lexica Batania. Let me read through the book a little bit. That's the information I was looking for. Sneak right click with the wand. Which I put away for some reason. So we go mana pool. There we go. Renoet. The tablet absorb the mana, then I'm going to break that mana pool and reassign the spreaders, the um, mana spreaders, to the mana splitter. Then I think when it comes to Batania, we get into runes next, and I think I put my quest book away. Why, oh why would I do such a thing? Mana Manifest, there we go. Alchemy Catalyst. Yep, that's good too. We'll do the, the Catalyst and the Altar next. Is that tablet full? Yes. Avoided a tiny bit of mana, but that's okay. And then do that. Do a quick sleep. There we go. Coal, that's what I was after. Oh, for crying out loud. Should have done that sooner. There we go. Okay, so the alchemy catalysts. 
We need a couple of brewing stands and a man of pearl. Well, that's inconvenient. So cobblestone and blaze rods. All right, we can do the, we can do that. A couple blaze rods. Maybe actually. Speaking of blaze rods, how does I acquire a blaze rod? Loot fabricators, mob drops, loot statues. Okay. So. Okay. So we've hit, okay, so the alchemy catalyst isn't happening right now. Can I make a runic altar? Yes, requires a mana a diamond. Do either, does anyone have enough mana? Probably not. Okay. We're going to have to do that. Yep, fill up the pool. We're going to let that happen. And I need the diamond and the living rock. Wrong. I was close. I was close. We can put the altar here. Maybe. Put the altar there. Then when I need mana to go to the altar, I can just reassign an altar or a mana spread it or two and that's good to go. Okay. Not entirely certain what that was all about. Some elderberry. No rewards, okay. Yep, that's what I'm gonna use to craft the runes. Just better start once it's done, throw, yes, okay. So the terrestrial agglomeration plates. Terrestrial, there we go. Requires runes of fire, air, mana, earth, water, a block of mana steel, and three blocks of lapis. Okay. Block of mana steel, very good. Pick that back up, so. Block of mana steel. Close. There we go, there's the mana steel. For this part, let's go ahead and get you. F no, do you not like that? Okay, apparently you don't like that. Gotcha. So for the rune of fire, we need mana powder, nether wart. Okay, so our progression, Batania, is completed until we make a trip to the nether. Okay, so let's get our diamonds. Nope, I didn't want to throw that on the ground, dang it. And we need some proper gear, some pants, boots, helmet, chest plate, sword. A sword. Hmm. 
Looking quite ridiculous. That's okay. That was the other thing I wanted to look up. Now that we got the mesh, mana steel mesh, what does that allow us to do? But yes, what is the usage of a, man a mana steel mesh? Sifting recipes. All right, in stone gets us mana pearls. Netherrack gets us some stuff. What's that? It's Spore Blossom? That's different. A 5% chance of golden apples and flowering azalea. Interesting. Okay. Iron rotten, logged. Chance to get nether wart when sifting soul sand, mushrooms and mycelium. And what was the big deal about progressing through mana steel then? And then it's needed for the amethyst. Which requires amethyst shards. And how do we get said amethyst? Okay, I can enrich amethyst dust. Okay, yes, good. Server press centrifuge. Looks like. Looks like a whole lot of I don't know. Seems like you have to have it to get it. So I'm gonna guess Nether. So I'm gonna clean up inventory, get some food together, and. <sighs> need to get the obsidian, which means I'll be jumping on a ton of. Um, stuff for lava. Oh, goody. Went back to double check the quest book and getting a quest reward of Blacker Lotus from Batania. Interesting. Okay. So, this is saying that. Um. Here it is. We'll get everything in Andesite Mesh Can, and we'll also drop Prismarine Shards and Crystals. But it needs to be waterlogged sand. Okay. So... Just double checking, are you sand or dust? You are sand. We'll waterlog one of it. Might as well. And I can't see much. Alright, I'll be right back. Prismarine quest complete. Also, there's a couple items here that don't already have a home. So... Don't think kelp previously had any. Nope. Or seagrass, I'm assuming. Or slime balls. Sea pickles. Clay. Just because no other place to put it, I'm just going to put my weed seeds up there. Okay, so are you now extracting everything? Yes, everything has a home. What did I get 
here. Cake and some chicken eggs. Okay, good. Weapons. Armor. Monster Hunter. I did get and kill a Wilden. One spawned uh, between episodes. And any other things? Nope, that was it. Oh, Luke B. What are you giving me, little B? Copper. Starbuncle wheel, copper, gold, which reminds me actually we should make a pair of gold boots if we're going to the nether for those piglins. And I'm not sure what else it gave me, but that's okay. Let's continue to get mana production happening. All right, I'm going to continue to play Inventory Management Simulator 2023. During, while the camera was paused and dithering, I'm noticing these prismarine crystals are not uh, exporting. And I did make sure, and I did have to adjust the transfer amount, but I am now noticing prismarine crystals and prismarine shards are not the same thing. Aha! Yes. Okay. Okay. This is a total squirrel rabbit hole moment, but here we go. You ready for this? So, to get the lava I need for the obsidian for the nether portal, I want to use a powered mechanical squeezer to get mechanical squeezer I needed the batteries that I remember last episode or a couple episodes ago I was I had this forgetful moment like why did I need integrated dynamic stuff why was it important is from the mechanical squeezer and I totally forgot so I can either use bone meal to grow a bunch of trees or I can use a phytogenic insulator I think we're gonna try this it's still that's Redstone and gold. Redstone, gold. Gold, redstone. Okay, I hope you're not some weird metal. Of course you're some weird metal. What's aluminum? Fire charge, silver. Tin, silver, glowstone, okay. Fire charge, what's a fire charge? Coal, gunpowder, blaze powder. Okay, I think I have that stuff. So, coal, gunpowder, blaze powder. All right. So, cool. And Lumium was, I need tin, silver, glowstone. That's gold dust. I thought that was glowstone for a second. Okay, now on to the what did I do with my glowstone? Do I have glowstone? I did, right? Uh, yes, that is a glowstone. Are you full already? No, you have an upgrade and you can hold 4,000 of a, of a thing. We're good there. Uh, 
Um, right, I needed it's osmium. Oh, good. Where's the sound? There it is. You know what? There's so many things going on right now, like with the sifters and with the random machines that don't have muffler upgrades. As I was watching previous episodes, it's driving me nuts. So at the moment, we're just going to keep the sound off and have blissful silence. Okay. So, quartz. Is that nickel? That's nickel. I need silver and tin. Redstone, cinnabar, salt. That's raw osmium, iron, gold, copper. So that one's tin. Okay, that's zinc. That's silver. Okay, so let's just grab a stack of this, grab a stack of that. And just whatever. Okay. Speaking of that gold dust, I know there's a way mechanism. Energized smelters, one for one. Metallurgic infuser. Another right dust from scrap. Interesting. Whole room. No, I guess you just smelt it. Okay. So there's some silver. And for aluminum, okay. What am I short on? Nothing, I just didn't hit shift at the right time. Okay, that's good. And that required a iron ingot. An iron ignit. Actually, I only need one ignit. Yes, I'm being funny. Uh, iron ignit. Aha. Does this have to be stained glass? I'm just going to assume it doesn't need to be stained glass. And I need a machine frame, which requires a tin gear. Cool. And iron and... Okay, I'm going to assume any glass. Okay, so... Oh man, I need like a refined storage going on because this is driving me bazonkers where is anything at the moment there's panes of glass I need blocks of glass Aha! I thought I had made some. Thought I had made some. And the iron was not in my inventory. What? 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 Okay, next question. Does this thing accept RF? It does and doesn't seem to be exploding. Okay, beautiful. So, to get this stuff, I can phytogenic insulator, mineral saplings, and water. Does a sink exist in this pack? 
a sink does exist in this pack. Ingot, bucket of water, terracotta. What's terracotta? Melted clay. Okay, it needed what? Five blocks? Good. Because I'm fairly certain I didn't put my clay away. Let me gather stuff. Okay. So... Right. Oh, crikey, you're slow. All right. That's thermal expansion. I kind of remember from the Direwolf 20 videos and you can put something in there to speed that up. Phyto grow. That looks correct. Sand, bone meal, slag, night gross, appetite, niter. Add Astra, okay. So sand, bone meal, appetite, niter. Do I happen to have niter? Is that a thing I have? I have the appetite dust. Appetite, Lapis, Emerald, Diamond, Redstone, Certus Quartz, Cinnabar, Salt. I'm looking at the top center up there. Okay, I don't have Niter. Uh, Phytogro is... Niter, Niter, Dust. How does one be crushed niter? Centrifuge niter, pulverize niter. Okay, where does niter come from? Or. Squeezing or. Uh, crushing the ore. Or pure nitro ore. My assumption is that's like a nether thing right now. Hello, Mr. B or Mrs. B or whatever. Batania flower. Copper, copper. Love copper. Chicken eggs. More chicken eggs. Additional chicken eggs. Energetic sheep spawn egg. That's different. Okay. Uh, the chicken eggs away. This thing away. That away. Force gems should go somewhere else. Okay. So, I think, oh, okay, I think my terracotta should be done, so I can automate, yes, I should be able to automate the, the water aspect. You know what, we're going to call this an episode. I think automating this phytogenic insulator is going to be possibly a next episode thing. 
or I will show you next episode what I came up with between episodes. Either way, thank you for spending your time with me, everybody. Keep loving your hearts. Peace.